Good morning and welcome back. Can't keep her in the video too very long because she just can't do it. But I can get her in there without her meaning to be. But anyway, we are going to do a quilt tour around the shop and show you some of the quilts and the history of them. So let's get started. This one is the United States quilt map. And if you go online, you can look up United States quilt map and this will pop up. It's a free pattern and very easy. It's just a white piece of fabric with the quilt pieces uh, adhered to heat and bond light on the back of them or the fabric pieces. And then you put it in the shape. So that's not hard at all. Easy one online, check that out. This was a beginner quilt class that we did and it went over well. It was a cute quilt pattern. This one is probably one of my all time favorites. We have this pattern here at the shop and it is called Scrappy Stars. It is, well, Emily's got it right here to show you. That's the pattern. We've got it here at the shop and it was a fun one to put together. I did this one in the 1930s reprints, love it. It was supposed to be for my bed at the house, but trying to get through all my projects that I'd started and never finished, this was one of them. And well, I wanted it done, needed something to hang at the shop. So that's where it landed. We will be making another one for the house, but for now, this one is here and perfect size to hang up like that. Then we've got, we got to put some more stuff back up there. We took the stuff down that was up there. Let's see, start in this corner. Try not to get you dizzy. This one is Summer Moon. We have this pattern here at the shop as well. You can't see the rest of it, it's behind that shelf. But that is a, it's designed to be a block of the month. I didn't do it that way, but it is a fun quilt to put together. It's three blocks at a time. She's got the book for you here again. It's three blocks at a time. You'll do one small, one medium, and one large of the same block and you just change up the fabrics or doing the same, however you want to do it. It was a fun one to put together. I love that kind of quilt. This one is a charm pack that I cut and some of them are not cut. Some of them are cut. You can tell where it's cut down the width of it. And then again on the one side, and then we just sashed it with white fabric. It's a cute one. It's a good throw size. And it's in Animal Crackers fabric, but the Animal Crackers is out of stock now. But it was a super, super cute fabric line. If you can see all the little animals, this particular piece right here was my favorite. We sold out of it yesterday, in fact. But that's that pattern. This quilt is my husband's. He found the pattern one day when we were at a doctor's office out of town years ago. And he said, you know, you always said you were gonna make me a quilt. Well, I found the pattern, will you make it? So I made it. We took it to the house, we had it at the house. He didn't use it, so I said, you know what? I'm taking it back and hanging it at the shop. So that's what we did. He'll get it back one day, not sure when. She's got the pattern here for you on that one. Super cute quilt that all the guys that come into the shop love. Went together fairly easy. Great quilt. Now let's mosey on over here. This one is a camper quilt. And this one was designed to, you see that camper in the top right corner? That's how it was supposed to be done all the way through the quilt. But we got tired of that. So we decided let's do some stuff different to it. Let's put a tent in there and a picnic table and everything else, s'mores, that kind of thing. Everything you think of with camping. So that's what we did. And if you look close, I don't know if you can see it on here, on the picnic table, Emily got real creative and did a little watermelon, a Coke, a hamburger, a hot dog, super cute. I can't reach to get up there to it to you, show it to you, but super cute. And what we did with this one is we had the pattern for the camper but for like the tent and the picnic table, we went to a coloring book, found pictures and traced them and then heat and bond light behind the fabric and stuck them on and then sewed around them. So that's that one. This one 
is just breathtaking. I mean, what more do you say on that one? Super, super pretty. Just gorgeous. Prairie points, I mean, just gorgeous. Now this one is a charm pack and it's just half square triangles and then some straight squares put together. This one, of course, is the American flag. Another easy one to put together. Let's see, up here we've got the word quilt that we just made up with the letters out of Lori Holt's book, The Spelling Bee. You can do a lot, a lot of stuff with this. So there's that. Then you've got the U.S. map. This one is what people pin when they come into the shop. So you'll see all the pins where people have been from. They've come from all over and a lot of times we forget to tell people to pin them. So there's been way more than what's shown on this map here in the shop. So, but gives you an idea. And when we remember, we tell them to pin. So we got some extra pins down there. We need to put some more. This one is the lady quilt and it's from our Craft Acropolis quilt from this year. And this is the pattern for it. So we've got that here at the shop. Now let's mosey into here. This one is a peaches pattern. We've got that one in one of the books here at the shop. This one was supposed to be a quilt, a total quilt, but we turned it into a table runner because for one, well, I wanted a Christmas table runner. And for two, we needed something above this window and this is the Christmas room. So what better room to put this in? So there's that one. Love the Santa Claus. He's got Minky for his beard and his hat. So that's cute. This one is always going to be one of my all-time favorites. First off, there's Mort. Hadn't seen him in a while, have you? And th this is all the On Dasher line that just came in with Moda we're trying to put up. So, yeah, well, there's that. We got some work to do. But there's the quilt for this. You can't see all of it because it's behind this fireplace, but it is a gorgeous quilt. Love the borders. And this is the book it came out of which again, we have here at the shop, Vintage Christmas. We have tons and tons of books here. I hesitate to say how many. I know well into the hundreds of books here. So if you need a pattern and if you need a quilt, if you need a anything, we've got them. So come see us. Can't be finished without telling you about this one. This is a panel that we did. Super cute. It's a Laura Heine pattern. I mean a panel. Super cute. You could add a lot of stuff to it or you could just hang it. We needed something for this bathroom door, which we call the sewing room, but it's really the bathroom door. So that's what we put on there. Now let's go to the back. Before we go to the back, I forgot a couple more. This one was Emily's first ever quilt. She did a great job with it. This was a charm pack that she made into a star. It's real similar to that one that was over there, but super cute. So now let's see what she's got us over here. Let's see, here's the star one. This one is one that we did a YouTube tutorial on from start to finish of. Yes. It's huge. It's a king size. So yeah, that's a big one. Then there was this one. The Irish chain. It was a pretty, pretty quilt, even from the back. All of them are, but I love this back. Isn't it pretty? Then below it is another YouTube tutorial we did. And it was, I think, called A Quilt From Start to Finish. 
It was, I don't know how long ago, it was a while back, but it was a good one. Now let's go to the back. This one is the Bumbleberry Quilt. This one is hard to see because we've got it behind this quilt machine, but really pretty. We've got this whole line of fabric in the pattern. Super pretty. Here's an I Spy panel. That's super cute. And last, but definitely not least, the old glory quilt pattern. This is one of my favorites too. I mean, it's hard to say which one is your truly favorite, but love the quilting on it. Love the pattern. It goes together really quick. It is a uh, quilt, or it was a quilt kit. We've got, still got the line, we still got the pattern, but really, it went together really fast, and it's just gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed the quilt tour. That's all the ones we have hanging in the shop right now. We are in the process of making more and changing some out. We have a lot more quilts here. It's just we don't have them hung up yet. So we're going to try to switch some of those out and try to... <laughs> Emily got in there and didn't realize it. Try to uh, get some more showing around the shop. Um, trying to inspire you guys to do more and for inspiring us to do more. And well, quilts are our passion and we hope it is yours too. If there's anything we can help you with, any way we can help you along the way, you let us know, reach out to us, get us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, however you need to get in touch with us. Well, someone already found us, so there's the phone ringing. But get in touch with us and we will help you any way we can. And until next time, you guys have a great afternoon. Enjoy your day, inspire someone along the way, and happy quilting.